How's it going, book nerds? I'm here with Blair, composer, and he just told me a few things that I think you're going to be interested in hearing. So how are you doing today? I'm all right, thanks. How are you doing? Good. Tired, but I have a lot of caffeine and coffee in me, so I think we're doing... I'm still awake, so that's a plus. So tell us a, a little bit of what you're working on. Uh, well, this year, being at San Diego Comic Con 2018, I've been doing a panel about the musical universe of Doctor Who. <gasps> Doctor Who, I love that show! Isn't it cool? <laughs> oh, it's the best. <laughs> so I was a musical arranger on Doctor Who um, season eight, some of that with uh, Murray Gold, the composer, um, Peter Capaldi's first uh, season. And then I also wrote the music for Class, the Doctor Who uh, spin-off. Uh, I also do the, uh, I redid the Torchwood theme for Big Finish, the audios, uh, and I did all the incidental music for those. I did the music for the uh, season 10 trailer, uh, and I did uh, the Doctor Who fan show. I don't know, you know Crystal D that presents okay. this thing? So they, um, they asked me to do the music for the open titles for that which I did as well which was fun so what you're saying is you've pretty much done the scoring for some of my favorite TV shows ever <laughs> nice yeah yeah sure <laughs> <laughs> all right so we got to talk a little bit about your work on Doctor Who because that's probably in my top three favorite TV yeah. shows ever yeah, yeah, yeah. what's it like to work on that TV show and work I mean it's so iconic and there's so many funky sounds and music going on and it's action and emotional and just it's all over the place but it's so fantastic so tell us about that experience and working on that well I mean one of the most amazing things so the, the first thing I ever did on uh, on Doctor Who was was working with Murray Gold on uh, Deep Breath Peter Capaldi's first episode in season eight uh, and it was really incredible getting the episode like you've got the episode like four or five months before everyone else is, is seeing it and I'm a, I'm a fan of Doctor Who myself I, uh, I I grew up you know watching Doctor Who and stuff so I could see like people on my Facebook feeds being like oh, I wonder what the new Doctor's going to be like <laughs> and I'm like I know what the new Doctor's going to be like because I, I can literally see Peter Capaldi hanging upside down from a tree right now speaking to a horse <laughs> like I know but I can't tell anyone and I'm like oh wow I've got this I've got this file and like you know I can I can watch it and I'm working on it I'm like this is crazy so that that was kind of a lot of fun, and then also uh, working on on that, and then hearing the orchestra going through to Cardiff and hearing like an eighty piece orchestra play back that music. That's incredible. And Peter dropped in on the recording session uh, whilst we were through there. He was amazing, and of course he hadn't like met many fans who'd actually like you know seen any of the footage or anything. Yeah. So I said to him, "I was like, dude, I've I've used to watch Doctor Who when I was a kid, just just like him, you know." Yeah. And I was like, "And I think you're I think you're a great doctor. I think you're doing a, a really good job." And he's like, "Oh, thanks very much." And he could tell that he could tell that I was a fan, you know, like he could tell that like him, I actually knew what I was talking about in terms of you know the old stories yeah, and stuff. Yeah. So we had uh, we had a great conversation, and we got to see him here his theme for the very first time so we got to see the reaction on his face when he heard the doctor's theme that was going to be his yeah and he just got really emotional because you know? every every doctor's theme is slightly different and yeah. all the intros and the logos and everything they're yeah, all very yeah, no, they all have the same the same feel but they're all unique yeah which i love completely. all right so i would love to talk to you more about that but unfortunately we have only so much time and yeah. you mentioned something else that i really want to talk to you about and that's Torchwood. Ah, yes. So, yeah. <laughs> so tell us your involvement of that, and please, please tell me we're getting another season. Well, so I was asked by um, James Goss, the producer of uh, Torchwood at Big Finish, the people who make the audios for Doctor Who, uh, whether I would come on board and do a new version of the Torchwood theme for them redoing that. This was a few years ago. And I said, yeah, of, of course, that'd be fantastic. Uh, and then I also did uh, incidental music for all of those uh, since really and I've got to say like the, oh, the stories that they come up with for it are absolutely brilliant oh, uh, for sure. and they have just done a um, well last year they just did a season five which was the continuation of Torchwood officially and Russell T Davis uh, helped write the overall arc of the story and also approving all the new characters and stuff like that so he he was very much involved in making sure that this is this is canon it is you know within the universe and where Torchwood to ever come back this would, you know, be recognized as, as, as being. <laughs> I think I think I speak for many people when I say fingers crossed. Yeah, it'd be cool, wouldn't it? Yeah. I, I mean, I don't know. I wonder if it will ever happen. It's really up to certain things coming into into play. But I think what might be more likely is that we might see Torchwood somehow come into the world of, of Doctor Who again, officially. Yeah. Probably not within this next season, season um, 11, but I think maybe season 12 or 13, because Chris Chibnall uh, was pretty much the showrunner of Torchwood yeah. for those first two seasons. 
there's a he really you know wrote the characters you know of those that team so he's going to want to maybe bring some of them back in it could it could happen it could happen. well i mean i for one, I love when they cross over Torchwood with Doctor Who. Yes. I think, I think, I mean, David Tennant was the first Doctor I ever saw. Blink was actually the first episode oh, I ever saw. My brother showed it to me, and I was hooked within like five seconds of the, like yeah. instantly. Yeah. But I think one of my favorite moments from all time from Doctor Who was the crossover with uh, Captain Jack Harkness, and they just got back from Cardiff from, and he's walking away, and he's like, "The face of Bo, they called me," and I was just like, "Oh." <gasps> The yeah, face, right. oh my god, it makes so much sense! He's immortal, and his face, I'm like, my mind was like exploding when I saw that. I was like, oh, they just did that! Yeah, yeah, and I remember <laughs> actually, I'm pretty sure when that happened, um, Murray used some of the Face of Bow music that you'd heard in New Earth in that episode when he's walking away, which is always nice when the music ties in with, you know, yeah. with, with the plot. Yeah. Well, the music, again, it's, I mean, especially with a show like Doctor Who, it's so iconic. Yeah. What's it like, and I mean, coming up with those sounds and everything, and making it new but still feel like the old original series, like, sure. and working on that. I mean, because it's a show where you can go literally anywhere in the universe. I think yeah. kind of with the same with the music. One of the great things about it is you can kind of take it anywhere, yeah. and it will always survive in a way. And if you can get some subtle references to the past in there, then that's really great as well. When I was trying to set up the sound world for Class, um, the Doctor Who spinoff, I in the first episode we had Peter Capaldi appearing so I wanted to bring in his theme that he has in the show but instead of doing an orchestral version of it we did a kind of like prog rock kind of like punky version okay. which was kind of you know it was a little bit different but it felt more suitable for our universe musical universe of class which is a little bit more edgy guitars analog synths drums that kind of stuff but then we also had the TARDIS appear at one point and we brought back the original Doctor's theme that you hear for David Tennant and Christopher Eccleston because oh, at that point you only so see good. the TARDIS um, and we thought it'd be really fun to just, it just felt really appropriate to bring that theme back. And we got the singer, Melanie Pappenheim, who originally wrote, who originally sang that theme back in 2005. We got her back in to record like a decade, la oh, decade wow. later. And she was amazing. And she was so like nostalgic being back and, you know, recording the same melodies again. It was, it was really special actually. Yeah. That sounds truly amazing. So I got to ask you, if you could go in the TARDIS and go anywhere in time, Let's let's keep it simple and say we're still staying here on Earth because who knows how many planets? That that's another question. Yeah. What time period would you want to go to with the Doctor and which Doctor? I might take David Tennant. Uh, the the proper answer there. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm a David Tennant fan. I might take him back to like uh, try and see what happened to the dinosaurs, you know, and go all the way back and kind of solve solve that mystery. And if it wasn't going to be that, it would probably be literally like the Big Bang, just to see and figure out exactly, you know, the the reason why we're here. <laughs> well, I mean, they already went to the end of the universe, yeah. the end of time. So why not go to the beginning? Exactly. We haven't gone there yet, at least that I remember. Yeah. Uh, and if not that, I might go to November 2018 to check out the midterm uh, election results. <laughs> <laughs> See whether, you know, Democrats win back the Congress. <laughs> that's, that's a whole nother topic, another whole can of worms there. Yeah, it sure is. So, uh, what projects are you working on right now that you can talk to us about? Anything in the works? I've got something that I'm working on with, uh, with Mark Gatiss. Um, I don't think I can officially tell you exactly what it is, but it's something uh, TV based that will be out around Christmas. Okay. And, and it has a Christmas special of some sorts. It's not. It's not Doctor Who, ah, but it I tried. Has, but it has the two characters, two actors. Sorry, two actors who have both been in the musical world, in the, the world of Doctor Who. Okay. Yeah, they've been okay. in, one of them's definitely been in a Doctor Who episode, and the other one has definitely been in a Doctor Who spin-off. But I can't tell you who they are yet, because okay. I, I don't know if I'm allowed. <laughs> well, you've piqued my interest, and I hope you've piqued their, everyone oh, at home's so. interest too. Check it out. When it, you'll, you'll come out at Christmas time, you'll know Mark's done something. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, I've well, done the music for it. I'll de I'm definitely going to be checking that out and looking out for that. Yeah, so. well, also the... Um, so Class, we've just done uh, six audio dramas of Class for Big Finish as well, which are coming out at the end of August. Nice. And we're about to release the soundtrack via Silver Screen Records, which will also be out hopefully end of August, early September. We're doing a limited edition vinyl uh, with a whole bunch of bonus, like 80 minutes worth of bo bonus footage that you won't get anywhere else. You can't find it online or stream it or anything. You can only get it if you buy it. And once that's sold out, it's uh, sold out. So if you're interested in getting that, head on over to Silver Screen and you know, grab a copy.
You heard it here first, everyone. Yeah. Go there and buy a copy. Well, thank you so much for taking the time, and I can't wait to no see what comes out from you. Thanks so much for talking. Thank you so much. Hey, I am Blair Mowat. I'm a composer for film and television, and this is Turning the Page with Gene Buchnerd.